Hello there guys, it's me on Stable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 20 of Civilization 6. We are playing on Emperor because I've never actually beaten this game on Emperor difficulty. I've beaten Civilization 5 on Deity, but I've just not managed to do it on Civ 6. And I keep playing this game for a bit and leaving it and then coming back to it. And I've had quite a few defeats on Emperor. It's, it, it seems to be my Achilles heel. It's the... It's the level where I always get stuck, so I'm, I'm really attempting to try and get it finished off, uh, especially because Civilization um, 7 is on the horizon, so it would be really, really nice if I were able to beat it on that level. Uh, so we will work on that. Uh, I should really repair the industrial zone and stuff here. I'm going to have a problem if I repair the nuclear power plant. Did I not actually get any uranium from taking in their cities? Because they must have uranium, right? I guess I didn't take the tiles with the uranium on, which is the the problem. They, they'll they'll have a tile somewhere with uranium on that I didn't nick. I was quite hoping that I'd have I'd have got some. There must be a mine somewhere with some uranium. Oh well, never mind. Um, we want to get the aluminium issue sorted out, and then, yeah, uranium is just going to be a problem. I can't do anything about that. Just have to try and avoid my giant death robot getting injured, because if it does, um, I can't heal it up anymore. So, a lot of um, tourism bombs coming in. There's Fort Aeroscore. That was nice. Um, I win the emergency. Uh, we have plus 15. Oh, another trade route. Plus... That one gives us the, the most stuff altogether. Uh, yeah, we've got this spy. Disrupting rocketry, only a 16% chance. We need to gain sources first. Yeah, let's move the builder down here along with the tank. Uh, I'm not sure if we can repair that one. No, that's a... Um, what is that tile? It won't show me. It is a pillaged seaside resort, so that gets repaired from there. That's fine. We've got a, we've got a farm to fix, so we'll go over there with the tank on the next turn. Emergency completed. So, do the wars not even end automatically? But you still won't end the war. That's interesting. Maybe it ends automatically on the, on the next turn. Uh, never mind. Can I piece out? Oh, I've got to click here. Why do, doesn't it just let me click up here rather than having to do it here? Um, will you piece out? You want me to give you Johannesburg. Uh, how about no? Oh no, he would give me a Hansberg. Um, oh, he would. So he would actually accept it if I gave him like all of my gold. So the AI would actually peace out. Okay, well that's fine. If they want to stay at war, they can stay at war. It's not going to make any difference. Oh look at this! He's, la he's landing units. So we'll take a shot with the city. Not a lot of damage there. I'd probably do a huge amount of damage with the giant death robot. I could do more damage if I attacked it in a melee attack, but I don't want the giant death robot to take any uh, any damage. Also, we're getting a... Yeah, minus 20 for insufficient uranium source. So, that's a problem. Um... Can we not move you? No, okay. Mbani, yeah, you repair all this stuff up. Give us some more production. Foreign culture is dominant. That's fine. I'm not worried about losing a culture war. Right, you want to peace out now. You want to give me some gold. Do you have any uranium? No. Bugger. You do have aluminium, though. Would you be willing to give me some aluminium? Yes, but not much. What about if I didn't want the money? How much aluminium would you give me? Just because I'm a little bit behind at the moment. Um, 
So you won't give me 15, but you will give me 13. Okay. So now I have some... I'm, that's only going to last me a couple of turns, but I'm going to go and upgrade the other one. Right, you are willing to give me uranium. Now, what if I ask for... What if I don't want that? How much uranium would you be willing to give me? Not all that much. What if I take a bunch of it from you? What if I want to take a hundred uranium? Okay. Hundred uranium. Ooh, how about no? How much was he willing to give me? Was it like 30 something? 35? 33? Was it 30? Is he not going to be willing to give me any now? No, okay. Um, refuse deal. He'll, he'll come back to me another time. I should peace out with Theodora though. If he loses more units, he'll... There any work in the afterlife. There's cybernetics done. Um, yeah, let's go to Theodora. She'll make peace. She doesn't have any uranium, unfortunately. Uh, I don't have spices or truffles. For a few gold per turn... If, if I take spices and truffles... Four gold per turn. Yeah, we'll take that. That'll help out with any immunity problems we might have in some of the other cities. So we're now only at war with Bolivar. Um, so, will you give me some uranium? Okay, what's his tip, what's his tipping point on uranium these days? Oh, not all that much. I'll take it, just so we're safe. I don't want to be having to focus on war. We need to be focusing on winning this space race. Um, Hong Kong for this one. Okay, so we should now be able to safely go over hit hit. Hang on a minute. I want to move the worker as well. We should be safe now. He is actually moving other units in. So we've pieced out now. I should have took a shot at them first, actually. I might have got something slightly better. This looks a little bit suspicious, doesn't it? These giant death robots moving up here. I mean, if he does decide to attack me up here with the, those giant death robots, which he, which he might. Um, he's got another one here, though. There's probably not an awful lot that I can do about that. Nobody here likes me. Would you... Bet you won't take a friendship, will you? No. I was wondering if I could get, like, a military alliance with somebody. We might be in a little bit of trouble here. Let's just open the tech tree. Yeah, this is what we need now, off-world mission. So we're three techs out from that. Right, can we get over here the... Statue of Liberty to take 21 turns must be adjacent to a harbour must be built on the coast where's the harbour I know we have one do we am I just going blind yeah, there's the harbour. Must be built on a... We could get rid of the stone. Let's... Two turns for a builder. We'll get rid of that stone and then we'll see if we can do it. Uh, you are going to get a... I don't know what we're going to do. I don't... Um... Hmm, if he's attacks me with those giant death robots, I think it's probably all over. Let's get let's try and get another spy for now. And Benza Congo. I mean we could start getting some like modern anti-tank armies. This giant death robot probably doesn't need to be here anymore. We have the jump ability now. So let's start by trying to get you back home just in case he does attack. 
So we're not currently at war with anybody, and if we do end up at war with anybody, it's going to be in Manza Congo. Looks like Congo's culture spamming as well. How are we doing on culture? Congo's about to get a culture victory in 20 turns. He got he got everything, didn't he? He's like the leader in uh, obviously he can't do religion because he's Congo, but he's been he was the leader in tech for the longest time. He's the leader in culture, he's the leader in diplo. Congo just went uncontested. I really should have attacked Congo earlier on than I did. I mean, that was on me. I'm always reluctant to attack the AI because I always feel, especially at higher difficulties, that because as the player you start off on the back foot, you know, you have less... Uh, oh, we need housing here. Um, how can we get some more housing? Not for many of these things. Um, get another neighbourhood. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, but I always feel that because as the player you start off, um, you know, with a disadvantage, the AI gets all of these bonuses to, to everything. I always felt that attacking the AI early on is a really stupid idea, and I try and wait as, as much as I can until I'm... until I'm ahead of the AI in terms of technology. I mean, you you saw yourself... Uh, you, you saw yourselves the issues... Oh, we already had a builder in there. That was stupid. Um, you saw yourselves the issue that I was having with um, Congo having giant death robots and me not having giant death robots. I mean, it made such a huge difference to um, their ability to fight me. I mean, admittedly, I held them off pretty well. And that's the thing, right? Even though I only had one giant death robot and his giant death robots were able to absolutely decimate my units... I still managed to hold him off because the AI doesn't play all that well with military units. But he's got two giant death robots here. Both, well, they're all, they're all going to have the same upgrades because um, it's based on tech. So he's got two giant death robots up here. He's got another giant death robot here. He's got one up there. There's four. Uh, I think there's probably another one up here. So he's he's planning something. He's definitely planning something. Uh, housing is capped here as well. Can we also can we get another neighbourhood? We get one in a tile that is unoccupied. I mean, a plus four is enough, I suppose. Um, yeah, this this is not looking good. Although his victory thing score is now disappeared, so maybe he has slowed down a little bit now. Is he is he bringing units into my? Yeah, he's got one here. I should keep my eye on things like this, and so I'd have to declare war on him to get rid of his. Rock bands, which is obviously I don't want to do. If I declare war on him, I'm definitely screwed. I cannot fight off four or five giant death robots. It's just not. It's not going to happen. Um, ideally, I need something here that I can just do for one turn. Let's go work on an arena. We can all, all, always skip it if need be. Yeah, look at these. What's he doing with these giant death robots? Uh, that's a flood for him. There's advanced AI done. Bolivar wins, which gives him two Diplo victory points. So where does that put us on terms of the Diplo score? Congo's still on 16. Choose production. Uh, everything here is good, so let's build all of the basics. Uh, my alliance has expired with you. Let's... Let's declare a friendship again, and he will. Um, let's see if he'll go for a military alliance. And he will agree. It, it's, it's unlikely to make the AI less likely to attack me. But I'll take any advantage I can get at the moment. Um, I don't know why I'm still escorting this builder. I don't really need to. Okay, that should put us on positive aluminium. It won't show on this turn. It always takes a turn to update. So we've got a giant death robot now that also has um, four upgrades, but I don't have any aluminium coming in, and I'm using one for power. I have somewhere a nuclear power plant that I'm using, and I wasn't even aware that I did. So that's not helpful. I'm not heading towards bankruptcy. 
Yeah, I'll take an embassy from you. There's World Congress. Uh, faster pop, uh, faster growth, uh, population growth, but loyalty lost in players' cities. I mean, I'm not really bothered who gets that, as long as it's not Congo. Arms control. All players have their weapons of mass destruction set equal to the target players. Well, I don't have any, so set them to mine. Diplomatic victory. Chosen player loses two diplomatic victory points. We need to massively invest in Congo, losing some diplomatic victory points. And we'll do International Space Station as well. So fingers crossed that that works out for us. Because he could win here. There's the uh, Exoplanet Expedition launched. So Migration Treaty is Congo. Wow, who put all the votes in? Was it him? No, just everybody basically did that. Uh, mind you, that might be good, because even though his population could grow, I mean, he's kind of capped. Even though his population could grow, he's in a bit of a uh, pickle now, because if his loyalty drops, especially because his cities are close to some of mine, they might start to flip. Diplomatic victory. He's, lozen, uh, he's lost two diplomatic victory points. That's good. That'll slow him down a bit. We've got four error score. Uh, International Space Station. We are in first place. Okay, uh, yep, aluminium is going up now. You're going to go around here and repair all these farm tiles. Uh, cities unpowered. I think that's because that's probably got the uranium power supply. Uh, uranium power plant. Uh, you get the hydroelectric dam. We don't have the next... Um, we don't have the next tech yet to do the space race. So, it says you are powered. You've probably got a hydroelectric dam. Oh, we need to repair. Oh, is that a flooded tile? Yeah, it's flooded. That's why it's um, bust. Can't do anything about that. Um, flood barrier will be 18 turns. Campus is probably a little bit too late now. Don't need the zoo. I mean, we could try and get the flood barrier. Let's let's work on it. We don't want to lose that aluminium tile, I suppose. Um, probably not really much useful stuff that you can do. We can get an envoy if we get a diplomatic quarter put in, I suppose. We haven't built one of those yet. Boost our science per turn if we get another um, another uh, another couple of uh, vassals. Let's get the water mill here. Yeah, most things that you can build are pretty pointless. You have got a harbour, though, so you might as well get a shipyard. Okay, let's start getting rid of all of this junk here. Let's have a quick look at the Diplo victory. So Bolivar's now actually got 16, so he could still win if he builds the Eiffel Tower. So we're certainly not uh, in a great position here. Uh, so let's send one to Mbamba. We've already got one in Mbwila. Uh, he still hasn't repaired that yet. Is that flooded? No, it's just pillaged. So he hasn't repaired it yet. I really don't know where to put this giant death robot because, I mean, he still has some up here. Or he did have. Yeah, he's got one over there. One down here. I mean, maybe he's just using them to explore because they can embark, right? So maybe that's just what he's doing. I really don't know. But either way, I don't like it. Uh, you can stay there. And yeah, we've got another builder down here. That's a flooded tile, isn't it? No, just as pillaged. Yeah, flooded. Yeah, okay. It is what it is. Right, you're going to remove that improvement. We'll let you finish the arena, because it's only one turn. Lots of rock bands going off. They're so loud. Right, that's another mitigated flood. There's another error score. Factor to the jagged rock. Do we want to change any policies here? Is there anything that could help us? I mean, probably not at this stage. Could get a bit of extra science from five-year plan. Probably not going to make a lot of difference right now. We could try and block uh, the possibility of... Um, Congo getting a diplomatic victory. Well, Congress has awarded one diplomatic victory point... Uh, so where's that now? So we're we're on 16. So if I actually build the Eiffel Tower, not the Eiffel Tower, if I actually build the Statue of Liberty, I could win a Diplo victory here. Uh, 
Uh, let's go on social media. Now, can you now build the Statue of Liberty? No. Why not? Must be built... Oh, must be, can't be built on a lake. Must be built on the coast. Must be built on the coast adjacent, adjacent to land and harbour district. Okay, must be adjacent to harbour owned by this city. Cannot be built on a lake. Must be built on a coast. Okay, well, that's land. It's it's adjacent to a harbour. It's not adjacent to a lake. Why can't you build it? Literally, I have the prerequisites here. Okay, so it's not going to let me build it there. That sucks. I can't build it. See, here I could do it. Wait. Yeah, we've got a hot. This is annoying. This city actually has a harbour. But the tile where the harbour is, is flooded. So I can't build it there. If the harbour was built on this side, I could have built it there. And it's only 21 turns as well. Um, you can't remove a district, can you? Because how good would it be if you could actually just move a district to another tile? Oh, that sucks. Okay, mate, we're going to have to see if we can build build one somewhere else. Oh, let's get the broadcast centre. We'll start working on some culture boost. You start getting things fixed. And... Yeah, there aren't many other good tiles around. Let's get you up to this city. Right. Are there any cities we have with half-decent production where we could potentially build the Eif the Statue of Liberty? Not really, because I don't have that many coastal cities. You don't have a harbour. We could get a harbour here. We could put a harbour... No, it's too far away. One, two, three. No, we could get a harbour here. But then by the time we've built the harbour and by the time we've built the um, Statue of Liberty, it's going to be all over anyway. But because I can't build the Statue of Liberty, I can't stop somebody else from building it either, which is really annoying. I'm not going all the way after that. City's underpowered. Mbaza Mbata. Yeah, we're going to need to... We don't need to get that spy straight away. If we can just flip you... Oh, it's just underpowered. I can't even convert to something else. Yeah, we've got... We've got problems. Rockadet's taken some damage to its outer defences for some reason. We don't want to recommission the nuclear reactor. Uh, we can go. We can work on training astronauts. Uh, we can convert to coal as well, actually. Let's convert to coal. That'll help a bit. You can't do anything here. Is that flooded? Pillaged, flooded. Yep. Of course it is. So annoying that it wouldn't let me build on that tile. I guess we could go ahead and start getting ourselves some solar farms. Yeah, I'm still not sure we're going to win this. Do you want oil, sugar, coffee for some money, open borders and a great works? Sure. I can still... Then you drive out with Let's see, beds. I can still hear that I'm getting spammed from somewhere. I've got another diplomatic victory point. Apparently, I pledged to remove troops from Congo's borders. I really didn't. Only a 37% chance of this working, which means there's no chance of it working. Let's have a quick look in here again. So, I am leading on Diplo. Science, yeah. Oh, uh, Mavanza Congo is actually working on the exoplanet expedition. So, he's, he's, he's actively doing something now. And uh, culture... Now, I think we're all right on culture for a little while. This is getting scary now. Oh, I wish I could build the Statue of Liberty somewhere. Um, we're full-on supply convoys. 
Let's work on a, an, another modern anti-tank army. I mean, they're not great against giant death robots. The only thing that's reasonably good against giant death robots is other giant death robots. But I just feel with um, with the amount of them he has around, I need something to try and slow them down. Uh, not too much that I can do with this builder. Let's just go and get a farm. And yeah, let's start getting some solar plants here. It is not looking great. Uh, housing problems. Wait, did that just say... Oh, Congo's at war with Spain and um, Bolivar. That's good. Because that means the AI is going to war with each other. They're not going to war with me. Maybe that'll actually slow things down for him. And that's probably where his giant death robots were off to. So that's fine. Um, yeah, let's do training astronauts here. And let's just build a few things around there. Yeah, we'll get a couple of these where we can. And that is the end of the turn. So I'm going to end the video there. I'm still not sure whether or not I'm going to win this. Things are looking a little bit dicey. Nobody's currently set to win a, a culture victory. Diplomacy I am technically winning, but... I mean, that could always go either way. Science, I'm also in the lead, but I still need a couple of turns to get off-world mission, and then however long it takes me to complete the space race. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed the video and that you are enjoying the series. If you are, please do consider leaving a like, subscribing, commenting, and all that other good stuff. I will see you on the next video. Until then, goodbye for now.